Hello everyone, this is Arendelf playing Mech Warrior. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about my unit. Now my unit is a really small one under 10 players, but I'm sending it up mostly to try and help incorporate new players who are coming in from the Steam because I know it's PGI's desperate way of trying to help their player base grow and I'm kind of, you know, attempting to make sure that stays happening. Problem is I'm having trouble actually getting to those players before they get intimidated by the game and leave. So I'm uh, trying to set up this channel as well to help starting players actually get a better idea for the game. But as well, I decided to also set up my unit around that with the ranking system. Now, the ranking system before, you know, the standard military uh, designations kind of seemed pointless to me in the game. So what I did was set up what you see here. And I'll go ahead and explain what all of this means. The very first rank is Miri, and that's for brand new players who can get invited in, and almost anybody can invite new players in. Almost all of the ranks have that ability. But when a new player gets in, then they get uh, basically, for lack of a better term, interviewed by one of the uh, highly skilled players who can then gauge their skill level. And mind you, we love new players. We want to train them. We want to help them. So just because a player is crap at MechWare, it doesn't mean you're going to be like, oh, get out of our unit. Uh, after they get gauged, we're going to put, that means we've got an idea of their skill level. Uh, if they are really new to MechWarrior, we're going to put them in the Mirish. Where at this point, uh, they'll receive further training until they've got the learning curve down and are comfortable playing by themselves, where they will get promoted to Mirishta. The Mirishta is someone who is a player who's comfortable playing by themselves and is okay now with their learning curve. And the Mirishta, you know, it's also for players who, as they get here, a lot of players won't want to specialize in any specific area, so they'll stay in the Mirishta rank, possibly indefinitely. A Mirishta Moor... Um, the title Moor means teacher. So a Mirishta Moor is someone who's willing to teach newer players. Someone who doesn't specialize in any specific category but is willing to teach. So Ashokan Miri. As you got from the Miri down here, meaning new, an Ashokan is a scout. Our frontline units, usually in light mechs, who are uh, getting up to the front and center, scouting out the enemy. Uh, doing everything that our scouts need to do which includes hurting the enemy tagging them for us narking and a bunch of other tasks in between Ashokans do actually have to be pretty skilled everyone thinks that a light mech's the easiest and honestly there's so many things you can do in a light mech but Ashokan Miri is where uh, someone who is a Marishta or possibly in a different category who decides they want to be a scout but anyway any someone Let's theorize that they're just a Marishta or a Marishta Moor who decides they finally want to specialize in something. They contact one of the Moors, uh, an Ashokan Moor, and, or for that matter, one of the Ofarius. And they say, hey, I want to be an Ashokan. Well, then they're simply promoted to an Ashokan Miri, someone who is training to become that. Well, the Moor will uh, contact... Uh, one of us, the one of the Ofarius Moor would be XL Pudding or myself, Arendelft. And we would then put that person into the uh, Ashokan Miri. But they can start training before that. It's just the title that matters there for the switching. But when they get in there, they start getting trained. They go over the learning curve of being an Ashokan Miri. And once they've got that down pat, uh, the Moor then contacts us again and says, Hey, this person's all right with it. They can uh, switch up to just straight up Ashokan. They can play scout by themselves. They're competent. So then the person comes up to Ashokan, you know, stays there. Now, a lot of people, just like with the Marishta, a lot of people, once they get to the, uh, the Ashokan, are going to stay just Ashokan. Because a lot of people aren't comfortable teaching other people. There's almost a fear there of that or a comfort zone just some people just don't want to teach 
So they'll stay there and just be a regulation scout, which is great, you know, no problems. And eventually some people are going to get to that level where they want to teach others. So then they're going to talk to uh, an Ashkan Moor or uh, one of the Ofarius, and they're going to ask to be uh, moved up to the Moor, and we're going to gauge their skill level. And if they really are at that level, we'll move them up to the master slot. And once they're actually at the master slot, kabam. You know, they're a teacher and they can start teaching people the Ashikan. Core is set up the same way as you can see along with all the other rankings in the Miri and Moor. And then the regular ranking in between. And it's set up the same way. If you want to become a core, which is a medium line mech, you know, you're just, you want to be part of the standard line moving about. And you're usually going to be in a medium mech when you do that. And uh, the Korsha Khan is the same thing, a line trooper, except in heavy mechs, standardly. And then the Ankarion are assault. So those are all the different weight classes and generally the different things that come in between. The difference with the Ankarion is in a lot of the formations, the Ankarion are going to be the ones who are up front and center in the formation. They have to learn to be able to do that because they're the ones who can tank the damage. That's what the Ankarian need to be trained for. So the Ashikon, they have to be trained to be our light scouts, to be up ahead of the group, that kind of thing. That's what the Ashikon do. The Ankarian actually have the purpose of, you know, getting up front and center and soaking the damage while dishing it out. So there's the Kor and Kor Shikon, which are the line troopers, and the Ashikon and the Ankarian that need specialized training. Now, the Murasha, you know, the Miri and the Moor set up the same way. Uh, the, however, the Murasha itself, that ranking is for drop commanders and drop sergeants. Anyone who is looking to lead rather than merely be a follower. Now, I am thinking about in the future putting a different ranking in for the concept of a drop sergeant versus a drop commander. Because a drop commander has overall command, while a drop sergeant advises the drop commander of situations because the drop commander cannot have 360 degree uh yeah 360 degree situational awareness they're only aware of what they can see so having people appraising them of the situation giving feedback and suggestions is awesome i have dropped with pugs where we there was no drop commander there was just drop sergeants we just coordinated with each other like crazy and we beat a 12-man, mind you. The 12-man group we were facing wasn't very good. But regardless of the fact, a group of pugs with never, none of us ever remember playing with each other before cohered so well that we did beat a 12-man. It's awesome. Drop sergeants can do what some drop commanders can't. Because when you're sitting there and you're trying to tell your line to charge and your guys in back are getting hit, a drop sergeant can suddenly look around, see the situation, and either contact you, or depending on how well you and that drop sergeant are cohered, can, he can just suddenly issue an order to those around him to suddenly stand their ground, turn around, and fire. And you trust him or her that much that you're just like, okay, everybody else, let's keep moving. Drop sergeants are imperative. They really are. And this ranking system will require a lot of training in the future. The Ofarius is basically the leadership. It's uh, the masters. People who have gone through all the training, who know just about how to do everything. And in a way, they're jacks of all trades and masters of none. And in the future, when we work out more kinks, I'm here in the Ofarius Moor. When I decide a specialization, I might actually move myself to a different ranking. Because honestly, you know, I'm not the jack of all trades kind of guy. I think I might actually end up moving over to the Marasha Moor. Because drop commandia is something that I actually like to do. And training drop sergeants is something that I think I'd love to do. Because honestly, when you can cohere as a group, it is victory. Victory is life. And honestly, this whole ranking system that was there before the military ranking system seemed pointless. 
I mean, were you going to honestly have people slowly make their way up or just skip a bunch of the ranking systems, just throw them up there? So I just wiped it all out and made all of this. As well, you can see that most of the people in here can uh, uh, invite members, view the coffer, etc. However, when you go down, I mean, across all of these, I mean, there's the Miri. They can just use the coffer balance, and the second one can view coffer transactions, and the third one can invite members, the Marishta. Pretty much everybody from that point in can invite members, which is where they'll drop into the Miri section, where we'll then gauge their experience. As I've said before, this unit is not about, uh, you know, you have to be a pro or a veteran or at least be competent to get in. No, when we get you in, we want to be able to gauge your skill level so that we know where to put you. That way we can get a feel for it. Because sometimes we'll have veteran players coming in. Sometimes we'll get brand new people coming in who have got no idea how to play the game. This is the setup. And uh, as well, when you get into the Mersh to Moor, you'll see the officer chat turns on. The Ashkan Mary, no. The Ashkan, no. The Ashkan Moor officer chats. I figured if there's going to be a chat, you know, exclusive to officers that you can turn it on and off, might as well make it exclusive to the teachers. That way they can discuss, you know, how best to teach people without having interruptions or people coming in and just wanting to talk with them, things like that. So that's what I decided to do with the officer chat. I decided to actually give a purpose to that thing. So this is my ranking system for the Judgment Seekers. I, you know, I'm completely open to feedback. If people have ideas, comments, you know, whatever, I'd love to hear from you. In any case, thank you very much for whopping. Uh, thank you very much for watching and whopping, whatever that is. Maybe you're eating whoppers while you're watching this. Oh, great. Now I want candy. Oh, in any case, yes, thank you for watching. And if you liked it, give it a, you know, thumbs up. And as I said, I'd love your feedback. But no matter what you do, have fun or don't, always up to you. Toodles.